So in the previous video, we made a navigation for our users so they can navigate around our site to the desired page that they want to visit. Great. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, please watch the third video to continue on to this one. So after building my navigation, the next thing I want to actually put on my page is an image of myself. So um, I want you to go and get an image of yourself. I already have an image right here. It's called alex.jpg. Uh, this is the image. Uh, please make it squared, if that makes any sense. You'll see why in a minute. But I'm going to put it inside the folder that I'm working in. And when you're making a website, you want to be fairly organized. So you don't want to just throw files in here. So we'll make a new folder and I'll name this IMG or you can name it images. You just have to remember what's the name of it. And we have our image inside of our IMG folder. So I'll go back to my text editor and here I'm going to add an image with the IMG tag and give it a source of where this image is located. Now, last time, we got a image off of Google, if you remembered. There's two types of paths in a source attribute. There is a relative path and there's an absolute path. So an absolute path is if I go to Google right now and I get um, cats. And if I get this image of a cat, if I get this right here, this is an absolute path because it's pointing to another another website that's an absolute path uh and a relative path is a image that is inside of your own folder so that's what we're going to do now see here now i have image and alex.jpg so since i have this inside of a folder i can't just say alex.jpg and if i go to the browser it's not going to work it's going to give you this broken image here and the reason that is, is because we have this inside of an IMG folder. So you'll say IMG slash alex.jpg. So there we go. And this image is fairly huge. So what I'm going to do for the meantime is give it another attribute that is width. And this controls the width of the image. So I'll just give it 500 pixels for now. And if I refresh, there's my image and it looks nice. So after my image, I'm going to add this new tag into the page called section because this is the section, the main section of the page. And also I'm going to add the footer. So a footer is just the bottom piece of the page. And the best thing you can put in the footer is add a paragraph and we're going to say copyright. So a way you'll say you'll write copyright in HTML is using an HTML entity and you'll say ampersand copy semicolon and I'll put my name actually I'll put copyright 2017 Alexander Mello because this is your work so here we have a footer and here we have a section so now we know that um, now we know that our page is divided into many different sections so if I refresh my page here I will get a footer in the bottom named Alexander Mello. Nice. So inside of this section, I'm going to have a two column layout. So one of these tags is going to be main for the main for the main content. And then I'll have an aside to have this aside on the web page. So here we're laying out our web page, HTML, structuring our web page. So inside of this main, I'm going to have an H3. And it's going to say about because that's what this website is about. So now I have a paragraph and I'm just going to pull this off from my um, from my notes here. I'm just going to pull off what I wrote and you can just write a short bio about yourself. And if you see this happening in Atom, that's because we have we don't toggle soft wrap so you just go view toggle soft wrap and that should fix the problem there so what I have in this paragraph is sorry hello I'm Alex I live in New York City you can email me at and then um, this href looks pretty weird I'll just give it a space so well okay 
And then inside of that paragraph, I have a link to alex at gmail.com. Now, the href that I have here is mail to mail to an example gmail.com. So this will open up the user's email. So if I click on this, it's going to open up on my other window, but it's going to open up if I can get this. Oh. It doesn't I can't drag it to the other side but it is going to open up your the users um, default email client so if they have Gmail downloaded or if they have Yahoo it's gonna open one of those pages so that's what I have in the main and then inside of my aside I'll have another heading three and I'll say some of my hobbies so after some of my hobbies I have another unordered list because my hobbies is a list of things and I'll put some of my hobbies here coding uh, playing video games and lastly I'll say eating pizza of course eating pizza there we go so now we have an unordered list inside of our aside so now if I refresh this now we have our web page basically done. So in the next video, we're actually going to style this and start going over CSS and what CSS is.